Hello! Today I'm going to be looking at the most requested video topic. That is, I'm going to be installing every single one of the different BIOS versions currently available for the Dell G5 SE5505. I'm going to benchmark some games on each one, and then I'm going to compare the results to find out which BIOS version offers the most gaming performance. The Dell G5 SE that I'm going to be using for these tests is the variant with the AMD Ryzen 5 4600H. The graphics card is an AMD Radeon RX 5600M and I have upgraded my laptop from the standard 8GB of RAM to the maximum supported 32GB of RAM. I did a video on how to upgrade the memory in this laptop so go and check that out if you'd also like to know how to do this. Starting off the gaming benchmarks with Cyberpunk 2077, the average frame rate improved with every BIOS version from the first 1.1.1 all the way up to the latest version at the time of reco recording which is 1.5.0 which saw a significantly higher frame rate than all other versions. However, the 1% lows peaked at BIOS version 1.3.0 with 1.1.1 significantly behind all other versions despite achieving a similar average. Next up is CSGO which again saw BIOS version 1.5.0 achieve the highest average but this time it's 1.4.4 that edged it out for the highest 1% low value. BIOS version 1.1.1 and 1.3.0 came in joint last with all other versions performing quite similarly. GTA 5 next and this game tells a different story. This time BIOS version 1.4.4 comes out with a clear lead on both the average and 1% lows, followed by the latest version 1.5.0 and with 1.2.0 and 1.3.0 coming in as close as makes no difference to joint last. PUBG was a mixed bag, this time version 1.2.0 takes a significant lead on the average frame rate, almost dwarfing all of the versions. BIOS version 1.3.0 achieved the highest 1% low however, but not by much. Version 1.1.1 again comes far behind all of the BIOS versions in the 1% low value. Red Dead Redemption 2 tells a different story, this time with BIOS version 1.4.4 coming in Red Dead last in both average FPS and 1% lows. 1.5.0 edges out a win in the average department and 1.3.0 edges out a win in the 1% low department. The last game to be tested today is Rocket League which again was a bit of a mixed bag. BIOS version 1.4.4 achieved the highest average frame rate, but also came in joint last with 1.5.0 with its 1% low value. BIOS version 1.2.0 achieved the second highest average and the highest 1% low, indicating that this BIOS version gave the most consistent gaming experience with this game. Finally, the totals for which I calculated the average frame rate across all of the games tested for each BIOS version. It turns out that 1.2.0 actually achieved the highest average frame rate and average 1% lows, though I expect that the former was helped out a bit by the outlier PUBG, which saw 1.2.0 achieve an average frame rate of over 27% higher than the next highest average. Even if this is the case, you can't ignore the fact that it also achieved the highest 1% low value, suggesting that BIOS version 1.2.0 actually offers the most consistent gaming experience out of all the BIOSes available for this laptop. Second place in terms of overall average frame rate is BIOS version 1.4.4, and second place for average 1% low is 1.3.0. 1.5.0 places third for average and fourth for 1% low, and finally 1.1.1 comes in last place for everything.
I guess that they were still learning the architecture when they made this BIOS. In conclusion then, which BIOS version should you use for gaming on your Dell G5 SE? Well, the answer is a definitive... Mm, it depends. <laughs> there wasn't a single BIOS that performed consistently better across all of the games tested, so you could opt to use the one that performs the best for the games that you want to play, but personally, I'll stick with the latest version for now. While it came third in overall average FPS and fourth in overall 1% lows, the difference in averages between the top three BIOS versions were marginal and the latest BIOS update could contain changes designed to protect the longevity of your laptop. For reference, 1.2.0's overall average was 111.9, while 1.5.0 was under 2.5 FPS less at 109.5. The differences in 1% lows were more significant, but personally I'm happy with the performance of this laptop for now, and even the worst overall 1% low value of 54.9 that version 1.1.1 achieved isn't that bad really. That's it for today's video, I'd like to apologise that I didn't add some more games to my testing for this video, as has been requested by at least one commenter, and also for not uploading anything last week. I do have my excuses though, and that my excuses are that I am busy with my final project, assignments and preparing for exams at university, so I don't have as much time as I would like to spend on creating videos. I also have a full-time job, I know I'm just full of excuses. Nevertheless, I hope that you found today's video quite informative. Maybe when I'm finished with university I'll have the time to upload more regularly, or at least do more in-depth videos and or test more games. I also hoped that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. I'd love to get to my first 1000 subscribers so that I can start monetizing my videos, but there's still a long way to go yet. Until then, you can support the channel if you wish to do so by purchasing items through the Amazon Affiliates link down in the video description. I don't believe that it has to be the item that I have linked to, so if you want to support the channel but don't want to buy what I have linked to, you can follow the link in the description, and navigate away from that item and purchase something else entirely from the Amazon website, and I should still get a commission because you followed my link. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.